I mean, I can speak to that, man. Every single time I've battled, no, not every single time, but most times I've battled, person, the dudes wanted to, wanted to fight me. <laughs> Which I, you know, is obviously a compliment. It's also fucking frustrating. And it's just like, I feel it's, it's the story compliment. of my life, you know, like, uh, this is going to sound egotistical, but it feels like if you, you're arguing with people that are stupider than you, then they're always going to resort to violence because they can't. What do they can't say? Um, arguing with a fool makes two? Yeah, for real, man. I, yeah, I don't know if I stole the saying or made it up, but um, what, what did I think of? It's like, if you're arguing, you're losing. You know what I mean? If you're like on someone else's level, then that's your loss, you know? I thought you said just before you could, um, someone would be having a go at you and just like reading all this stuff and just leaving it. Yeah, I'm uh, trying. I, that's my, yesterday, I, that was like a, like tell a. Tell me what happened. Uh, well, it's a kind of a long story, but this dude sent me, there was this dude that I randomly friended. I randomly friend people on Facebook sometimes just to, oh shit, this is still recording. Uh, just to see what's out there, you know, and then it's always interesting. And then this dude who I didn't know, but it, we were Facebook friends, just kept sending me links to his fucking blog. And I wouldn't respond. Every time I was like, that's annoying. I'm not responding. And then on like fifth or sixth one, I'm like, bro, can you stop? Like, and then he just got into this back and forth with me. And I left it. I blocked him. And then... I just finished my blog, so I unblocked him and sent him the link to my blog <laughs> <laughs> to demonstrate how yeah. annoying it is when someone you don't care about or know just sends you a link with no context. Like, it's rude, you know? It's like a jo being a Jehovah's Witness, just knocking on people's door. True. And then he just sent me, like, fucking a few blocks of, like the worst things that he could think of saying to me and I just actually didn't respond and it felt good yeah man uh, yeah you weren't feeding into the anger and the negativity man oh what I realised was that uh, kind of what we just said is that like I don't think he's very smart but I think he thinks he's really smart and that's the worst person to argue with you know because whatever you say like they can't comprehend what you have to say you know what I mean? Yeah, but well, they won't and, get it. And the shit they're saying is just like not worth responding to. And my old self, I used to feel like I needed to tell someone that. Like, this is, you're an idiot or whatever, you know? But it's like, they're not going to believe me. And it's just going to put take them further down, you know, like a defensive stance where they cement the idea that they hate me, you know? And it's like, there's there's nothing to be gained here. Yeah, I try not to argue with people on the internet or even or even talk too much. I'm pretty old school. It's like if someone wants to talk to me, they can ring me. <laughs> mm. This is true. It, I, I do think that uh, Facebook and like this, the society's move towards communicating so much through just text is kind of a psyop. You know, I think it's a very effective way of dividing people because um, it's just so easy to misrepresent nuances. Well, you could say, you could have a flippant statement that you'd say in real life and someone would be like, oh, okay. And you type it and it's like, it's like it's published. You know what I mean? It's like an official statement where it's, everything's taken exactly literal. You know, you're expected to use all the correct words. Like you said jealous instead of envy. Mm. I'm mad at you. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get into it, man. Yeah. It's something I'm working on, man. I, I am very like prone to engaging in conflict because of how my brain's wired, I think. Which is why I like battle rap, you know. I feel like battle rap is like the one place where I'm allowed to be who I who I am, you know. All these people want to fight you afterwards though, man. That's a compliment. It is a compliment. And also like man, I did a battle in Brisbane where this guy like choked or whatever and I got a lot of I made a lot of good connections through that, you know? That's who You stole his fan base, man. Yeah. Good on you. Yeah. Basically. All these people were blowing fucking steam up his ass saying, yeah, go on, take out D-Rad, he's just a sheep shagger or whatever, and then you came and fucking destroyed him and stole his fans, man. That's cool. it, man. That's it. I'm standing up and I'm telling you I am Warhol. I am the number one most impactful.